All right, all right, we live. What do we got here? Uh, Craterhoof Behemoth, pretty good starting card. Rootbound Craig is a land, but it's not one of the good lands. Usually I like taking like shocks and duels early or something like uh, Mana Confluence that taps for any color. All right, uh, Sun Titan, Glenelendra, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Burst Lightning, all good cards. I think I want to start with Glenelendra. I mean, this card is kind of unbeatable if you can cast it before your opponent does anything. Like, if you have a stall-out board state, you play Glenelendra, and you have some reasonable amount of pressure or removal spells, I think you can just win the game right there. So we're going to start with Glenelendra. I wouldn't fault anyone for taking Craterhoof Behemoth either. All right, pack two. Oh, I didn't know Spell Pierce was in this cube. Pretty nice. Glen would be yours too. Yeah. It's just such a good card. Like, <laughs> not only is it a 2-2 flyer that dies and comes back, but it it's just so versatile. All right, we got Breeding Pool, which does go well with Glenelendra. And she is pretty good in the blue-green deck, because if you go, like, turn one or turn two Mana Elf, um, then you can play her turn a couple turns earlier. And then you have both the pressure... And you can get her down early like that. So I'm leaning towards Breeding Pool. And I don't think there's much else I would consider. There's like Reflecting Pool maybe? Terramorphic Expanse? No. Yeah, we're going to take Breeding Pool. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now we get to decide between the reasonable pick and the fun pick of Nicol Bolas. So I think Mind Control is probably... Slam dunk the best card in this pack. And we already have Glenelendra. <laughs> yeah, Nikki B is really fun though. It does go good with Glenelendra too. So here's the question. Nikki B might wheel. Hmm. I wish it was the other Nikki B and it would be an easier decision. I think the other one's a lot better. Ah, oh, this is hard. This is kind of hard. All right, Brightening, what do you think? You want me to take Nicol Bolas? You're the only one speaking up, so you got a lot of say over this draft. Or Gifts and Go Ham. I don't know about that one. All right, we're, we're going to go Nicol Bolas here. We're going to have some fun in this draft. Um, ooh, Arid Mesa. Now, now the trouble becomes actually hitting the mana to cast Nicol Bolas. Because <laughs> he's a... Uh, a little cost prohibitive. So, Arid Mesa, Everflowing Chalice, uh, Lava Claw Reaches and Sulfur Falls, I think are worse than the Mesa. This can get, like, if we get a Steam Vents or something like that to help cast Nikki V. Yeah, let's take Arid Mesa. Mm, ooh, and Johnny Vengeant. You know, of all the Planeswalkers, I think this is my favorite one in, like, a tap out Planeswalker control deck. And we already. We already have a win condition. Um, this one's really good. It can either keep their things locked down, kill small creatures, gain you life, and its ultimate basically wins you the game. Just a great card overall. And then Pactum Negation I also love, but we're going to take some Ajani here. Ooh, Bloodstained Mire. I think I like that better than Windswept Heath. Although Windswept Heath does actually get a duel we have. Hello, the Squirrel Nest. Oh lord, a Johnny and Bolas in the same deck? Oh, you know it. <laughs> We're probably going to get a lot more too, don't even worry. It's a dual deck? Oh, is there a dual deck at Johnny versus Nicol Bolas? Well, <laughs> we're trying it out here. I think I'm going to take Bloodstained Mire, just better mana. Maybe we can wheel a Windswept Teeth or something. Um, From this pack. So we got Terminate, Spire Bluff Canal, Riftwing Cloudscape, Serum Vision, Sheevan Fire. Johnny and Lore fought Nicol Bolas. Okay. I'm actually, I'm going to admit, I'm really, really bad at the uh, the lore of MTGO. Or not MTGO, just Magic the Gathering in general. I probably should catch up on it at some point. But I mostly just play. I think I take a Spire Bluff Canal. Cloud Skate's also a really nice card. You know what? Let's, let's slam a... Oh, well, it lagged. All right. <laughs> I was trying to take Cloud Skate. No, no, you can. It's good to learn. Because I think the lore is interesting. I just need to actually learn it. Uh, we're probably going to need a Day of Judgment here. We already have White with the Johnny Vengeant. And if we're going the Planeswalker route, we need board wipes. Rail is it Viceroy. 
So look at the top two, put one in hand. See, the problem is I feel like he's not that good. Yeah, Day's definitely the pick there. I feel like he's not that good in most decks. Yeah, I don't know why he's in here. I keep wanting him to be good, and then he's just not. I think I'm gonna take Mortify. Just kills anything. Yeah, it's a little bit better than Burst Lightning, although slightly more expensive. Ooh, Reflecting Pool. That covers our double converted mana cost spells, I guess. Having something like Reflecting Pool or uh, uh, what are the other ones? City of Brass, Mana Confluence make actually hitting your mana much, much easier. We could take a Fumigate now. I think we're fully set up now. Although Lingering Souls is also a good consideration. There isn't even Delve he could feel. Then he's five, so who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I just want him to be good because he's a new Planeswalker that I've never really played with before. So it's like, whoa, guys, stop passing Pact of Negation. It's insane. Think about it. You tap out for like a Planeswalker. Let's think about this turn. We tap out for Niggle Volus, and then we Pact of Negation, whatever they do. I mean, it's a Walker from Guilds. They want to showcase the fun things from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Pact is insane. I don't know why it keeps going so late. I would first pick that card very frequently. I really don't like the fact that they kind of just like force some of the recent sets into the cube. Like, I don't know. I feel like anyone who plays cube would also be playing the recent. What is happening? Stop, <laughs> stop doing this. Guys, don't, don't send Riftwing Cloudscape last pick. That's the moral of this draft. Blue might slightly be open. White also might be open. I think green is being picked, which is fine because green is the one color we definitely don't want. I mean, we can like splash it. Like I will probably splash a Kiora if we get enough fixing. I think the most important part is sorting out our lands. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> this is going pretty well. Chase the Mind Sculptor here. LSV mode engage. Yeah. <laughs> One can aspire. So if Jace wasn't in... Yeah, it's wide open. We got past the Jace. Um, I would probably take Path to Exile. Um, if Dragon Skull Summit was a Blood Crypt, that would go better with Arid Mesa. And then maybe I would do that. But yeah, let's take Jace the Mind Sculptor here before I accidentally click something else. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think we need that many board wipes in Crux of Fate, and it's probably going to wheel. So here's kind of where we need some tact. So we can take Dark Slick Shores. And it enters tapped. What creatures do we have right now? We have Glenelendra and Riftwing, which actually go really well with Colagon's command. And then Flame Slash kills early creatures. Drifters, I could consider Drifter too. The thing is I don't want too many five mana plays. It does kind of fix your mana though. Maybe we can Drifter and then Wheel a Command. Yeah, I'm between the two. I think this is more likely to Wheel because it's multicolored and who plays Rakdos in Cube? Let's be real. All right, we'll take a Drifter. Sorry, Dark Slick Shores. I did get last pick Rift, but people have this weird affinity for Mole Drifter. All right, let's take, let's see, Tamiyo. I kind of just want to take Tamiyo. She's one of my favorite Planeswalkers. Um, actually, it's almost looking like we're blue-white control, like the full Chions, splashing red-black. <laughs> easy, easy on the mana. Let's take Tamiyo. All right, you guys will go with Tamiyo. I think this card frequently surprises me, just like shutting down mana. So a Johnny plus Tamiyo is a pretty powerful combo. Yeah, Signets are always a high pick. I don't know why people aren't taking, or aren't passing them. It's worrisome. I value Signets more than most people, and I haven't seen a single one, I don't think. So we can take Time Warp. I think that's just kind of unnecessary. Arid Mesa. Both of these fetches are green. I don't know if we want green fetches. I don't like Vivian Reed. Finks is mediocre. Doomblade is fine. We don't want to play against Sundering Titan, that's for sure. <laughs> mm, I think I'm more likely to want an Overgrown Tomb. So let's just take that. And the reason I'm taking Overgrown Tomb, even though we don't 
have any green cards is if we get like a um blue black fetch that lets us get green or something it just fixes our mana a little bit better let's take two Ooh, gideon jura okay <laughs> all right if you just want to keep passing us all the big boys that's fine um i think gideon again one of my favorite planeswalkers he protects all your other guys kills stuff he can attack for damage if he wasn't in the pack i'd probably be slamming either marsh flats or compulsive research yeah i think i would do one of those but gideon's too good to pass stop going over there it's a five drop <laughs> we might be backdooring just in the full chions here there's a mana leak and not much else besides reflector mage do I want mana leak in this deck? We don't have any two drops at the moment. That's kind of worrisome. These are fives, these are fours, threes. I guess Cloud Skate's kind of a two drop. Uh, yeah, I think it's mana leak over Sunlands. Especially with how open blue is. Are you not just into the drag and drop method? Can you do that? <laughs> you can just drag it into your thing. I'm gonna be honest, I've just never done that. Because, like, you click once to reserve and then double click. Yeah, it's got to be Mind Stone here. This card's insane. I wish it was a Signet for, again, the colored fixing, but we already have three really good four drops. Let's take Mind Stone. Passing Sleight of Hand, which would be probably the next pick. Oh, sorry, I didn't even try. <laughs> Hang on. This pick, we're going to do the drag and drop method. And then we'll see how good it goes. I think, I really feel like the drag and drop method takes more effort because you have to like move your mouse across the whole screen and you already have to click once, so it's just one more click. Speaking of clicks, Vendillion click, Fire Spout. We already have two board wipes, I don't think we need Fire Spout. Rift. Rift is interesting as well. It's kind of like a board wipe. My issue with Rift is it really only gets good at seven mana. And I think I'm going to take click just to kind of fill the gap between our twos and our fours and stuff. Um, click can like pressure their planeswalkers. Because right now, this deck has a hard time dealing with opposing planeswalkers. Um, so she can... Is it she? I guess it's they. Um, they can pressure them. Ooh, Vizier of Many Faces. Okay, this is kind of where we make a decision now. So these are threes. Yeah, Rift is really, really good. It's just a little expensive. I think the the thing with Rift, hang on. Uh, Peral's Expertise. I'm going to take Vizier. Uh, the thing, okay, so we did wheel Colgon's Command, but I almost like Faith's Fetters more. Because it just deals with anything, and the life gain is pretty relevant. It's looking like, I don't know, maybe black is not quite getting there. Blue-white looks really open. Let's take face fetters. Ooh, duplicant. I like duplicant more than bird battle sphere, as crazy as that is. Uh, the exile effect is pretty relevant. And I don't we're not really short of ways to win the game with Gideon, Tamio, Ajani, Chase the Mind Sculptor, Vizier. Yeah, Fetters Killing Walkers is super relevant. Let's take a duplicant. I guess we take a Dragon Lord? This is like just full on Cheons. <laughs> Thassa could get there. I feel like Dragon Lord is just better though. Wow, guys. It's Phantasmal Image, like third to last pick. <laughs> Chion Splash Bolas. I don't know. We're not getting any fixing at the moment. Okay, there's an Is It Signet. We'll probably wield this Wrath of God. I just have to slam this Is It Signet over Essence Scatter. Blue is way too... Ooh, Coalition Relic. Okay. Coalition Relic gives us hope. We're passing a Sheldock Isle for it, unfortunately. But it, this, this card is way too good here. It accelerates you to 5 and 6 and single-handedly cast Nicol Bolas. Sheldock is good too. But if you want me to play Nicol Bolas, we got to take Coalition Relic. Yeah, it's, it's a trade-off, right? I want both. And maybe the 
Um, the other one wheels. Okay, so what do these cards do? Glacial Fortress. So how many playables do we have? 24 already? Jeez. Yeah, blue might just be a little open. Ace Fighters, Day of Judgment. So what are we cutting? Verdant Catacombs gets uh, green, blue, black. This chase is bad. This chase is interesting. We don't have any good card draw effects, so he just flashes back ward wipes. I think I agree on taking fixing. So Vernon Catacombs... I don't know. Glacial Fortress actually looks better than Vernon Catacombs at this point. I think I'm going to take the Glacial Fortress. I would be taking all these good cards, but we already have 24 playables. Cube Jace Tribal, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> uh, we can, we'll do that eventually, I'm sure. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Uh, Soren Grim Nemesis. I think I gotta take Azorius Signet, though. The Signets are gonna make this deck from like a, maybe like a 6 out of 10 to like a 10 out of 10. And this is double on color. Big boy Soren, sorry to pass you. Um, ooh, Remand, or a Rakdos Signet. Four so far in the pack. Okay, now we gotta decide. I don't think we're playing Breeding Pool. The blue-red fixing is there. I don't think we're playing Tomb, Bloodstained Mire. Okay, so our fixing is okay. It's, it's Remand versus Rakdos Signet here. We already have three Signets. Or oh, I guess Mindstone is kind of one. Phantasmal Image. I don't want to play Kira. We already have Coalition Relic. Yeah, I think... I think I like Remand versus a double Splash Signet. Bolas is only one black. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. You guys got me. We're gonna drag this one. Oh, that feels weird, man. Ooh, okay. We got the fixing. Um, Steam Vents versus Godless Shrine. So we have Bloodstained Mire and Arid Mesa. I guess both get both. Uh, we're going to more likely want Steam Vents, I think, because we have so much blue requirements. <laughs> what a track. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, I want both, and Lightning Helix, but I think we just got to take Steam Vents. It doesn't really matter which one, I don't think. Uh, well, there's Silumgar's Command or Inferno Titan. Or, let's see, a Braid? If we need, just need some cheap interaction. So these are fours, these are fives, six. Oh, this bolus only costs seven? I think the other one costs eight. Okay, maybe that is a bit better. Inferno titties. <laughs> See, the thing is, I don't think our deck needs more six drops. Although, I don't think we need a braids either. I'm mostly leaning towards Stillumgar's command. I'm gonna take that. I like big boys too much. <laughs> Who doesn't, though? Oh, yes. All of my. Oh, no, wait. How easy of a splash is QR? She's my favorite planeswalker. We can bring in Overgrown Tomb, Breeding Pool, or we can take Blood Crypt. Oh, why do they do this to me? Why do they do this to me? I think we got this. Well, which, <laughs> which land do we take? This is the more reasonable one. Oh, fine, we'll be reasonable for once. We're not playing green. Do you guys know how much it hurt me to do that? I think I sacrificed my mobile phone to my son to watch this. Uh-oh. I don't even know what that means. But I hope I hope you get it back at some point. All right, we can take Wrath of God. It's just a better day of judgment. Guys, he's eating it. <laughs> you meant Kiora? Yeah, well now, look, we get to play Big Soren. Big Soren is better than Kiora. As much as I love Kiora, this card is just way too much fun. And Wooded Foothills... Does that actually fix our mana as we want? This gets black, red, blue. And we don't need Jace. Yeah, yeah. 
No, it is small Sorin. You right. You right. Darn. <laughs> it's still good Sorin though because his ultimate. So I might still play him. Here we take a drowned Bane Fire for encounterable killing. Psh, we ain't worried about that. Uh yeah, we take that. Take this, it doesn't really matter. Blade Splicer. Ooh, Seagate could be good. Okay. I think we still play Little Soren. I'm really, really disappointed though. Now I see why he wheeled. <laughs> if we play him, it's mostly just for his ultimate though. Yeah, I could imagine typing on your phone being pretty hard if your son is eating it. <laughs> All right, so our mana is a little crazy, but I think it makes sense. So Wooded Foothills, let's separate out the fetches. Bloodstained Mire, Arid Mesa. And then the fetchable and steam vents, overgrown tomb, breeding pool, blood crypt. We are being need a computer. All right, we'll be here when you get back, squirrel nest. Um. Okay, so Arid Mesa can grab. Yeah, typing on a phone is rough in general. Watching a stream, <laughs> I just don't type when I'm watching on a phone, to be honest. So Arid Mesa can grab red, blue. Black, white. Bloodstained Miner can grab red, blue, black, and Wooded Foothills can grab red, blue, black. I guess we don't need a breeding pool then. Because we have no green, and Wooded Foothills can already grab blue off of Steam Vents. And we don't need Overgrown Tomb either, because it can already grab black off of Blood Crypt. Okay, seems fair. All right, so these go in, we got these. All right, let's figure out what playables we're having now. 27. This is not a main deck. I don't want a main deck with Dragonlord Ojitai. Cloudskate is a two drop. I think I like Cloudskate. We got Vendillion Click. Glenelendra. Maybe we don't main deck Vizier until we see them having good creatures. I like Repeal, just a versatile. Yeah, I had to get a computer too. Yeah, <laughs> totally with you guys there. Um, we need to cut one card and then consider adding... Nah, we're not adding Day of Judgment, let's be real. We need to cut one card. I'm not sure which it is. Maybe it is this Soren. He's just a little bad. Like making 1-1 one, one lifelinks doesn't do a whole, much, a whole lot for us. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Okay. This is definitely not a Frenzy deck. Okay, so Foothills, Bloodstained Mire, Arid Mesa, Blood Crypt, Steam Vents. Uh, I guess I'm worried about my white mana source. Though I love Little Soren. He's met in cube, um, unless you're playing like a tokens deck, because his emblems really stack up really fast. And his ultimate is insane but i agree in general you know i don't think we actually want a spire bluff canal absolutely loved him in gate crash standard yeah i never actually played during that time i don't think but he was really fun to watch uh this man is weird we have way too many red sources but i guess this is basically a blue source so we need like a lot of basic planes I got my son on iPad and my laptop. All right, good work, Squirrel Nest. Okay, now we gotta figure out this man. I don't think we need any basic swamps or mountains. Um, we need a lot of planes though. We have no fetchable white. So right now we have one, two, three white sources. Oh no. This makes it eight. How does this look? In terms of blue mana, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, we can cut an island. I feel like we need another planes here. Because right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 white sources, and we really, really want double white. All right, all right, let's add, it says add a blue? That seems wrong. <laughs> it 
Yeah, well, the problem with the mana is, like, someone was taking all of the blue-white duels. A lot of early plays are blue. That's true. I guess we need to see how many untapped blues. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, we'll go with one extra island. You're right. Because these Wrath of God and stuff are four mana. And we want Duplicate over Dragon Lord. Actually, let's just run Dragon Lord. I like that more. All right, let's run it like that. Just one extra threat. Let's go to round one. So we have to remember what... Oh, wait, wait, I want to do one more check. Because one thing that usually gets me is uh, running out of fetchable lands. So right now, Bloodstained Mire can fetch Steam Vents, Blood Crypt. That's it. And Wooded Foothills can only fetch also Steam Vents and Blood Crypt. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> it'll be fine. It's fine. We're good. We just fetched one with one and then one with the other. Hey Mulligan, this hand's great. Let's keep. It's got it's got playables. Finding an opponent. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I always cut out all the nonsense. My editing process is very technical. I just uh look for when I'm not talking and nothing's happening on screen, and then I just delete it. Seems like really easy to automate, but I have not done that yet. I really want an opponent to play a mana dork here. I can phantasmal image it. Yeah. You'll notice Brightling that... That's what I like about the video format. A few programs will do that for you. I do cut some quiet moments when I'm thinking uh, Brightling. But that's just when it's like a really long tank. New mods, automated edits, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd rather have it edit too little than too much. Uh, we don't really need to draw anything with Moldrifter just yet. They're not doing anything. So let's just pass. He can get away with it since YouTube is secondary, yeah. Kind of like read stream. He has solid minutes of dead space where he's in the tank. Jeez. I mean, I would do that if I wasn't scared. Karn, sign of Urza. Okay. This appears to be the mirror match. So, bribery gives them Dragonlord Ojitai. Alright, you can have Swamp. I mean, that's why Reed's such a good player, right? You have to be deliberate with your plays if you want to be, you know, on point with everything that you're doing, which unfortunately doesn't make for the best viewer experience. Um, that's why Reed is really good to watch, like, live coverage of, because then the commentators can talk about what they think he's doing or thinking about. Jace the Mind Sculptor. A Johnny Vengeance. That's arguably better. <laughs> okay. Which land do we tap here? If we tap Swamp, then it's really unlikely. Okay, hope this is going on YouTube. My son will destroy the house. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube, Squirrel Nest. Don't worry. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's tap Swamp. It's the most likely way they could kill a Johnny. Now I love it because I get to think all along with him and see if I made the right choice. All right, we'll try tanking here and see, <laughs> see how you feel about it. For very complicated moments, though, it definitely makes sense. Reveal the top two cards. Uh, you can have a swamp. This nickel bolus can only deal seven damage to an opponent. Darn. Ooh, that's good. Look how good Pact of Negation is here. So let's a Johnny tap down the swamp. Um, 
Yeah, let's just jam Gideon. It could get countered, but that's okay. Supreme Will. So let's see, if we counter this, then they can bribery us for a Dragonlord Ojitai. But we have Gideon in play. So then we can just kill the Dragonlord. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we died to an acidic slime. All right, I want Gideon. In general, I would counter their threat, but Gideon Jura also protects us against a threat. Yeah, I think the default that you're you're saying, Brightling, is that when you're playing control, you just mostly want to prevent your opponent from killing you. But I feel like Gideon does that pretty well, right? We know they're getting bribery. We even get to Phantasmal Image, the Dragonlord Ojitai. Go, Caleb, go. Caleb's number one fan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Bribery. Who is Caleb's number one fan? Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, the reason we're doing this is we can copy the Ojitai. Or even better if they get Glenelendra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a tough choice for them. Hey, Kale's mom. I don't think it's my mom, actually. <laughs> it could be also my mom, though. I don't think she knows where I stream. She does know that I... Well, that I'm on YouTube. Okay, so they went with Ojitai. So here's the game plan. We kill their Karn. Oh, right, right, right. We have to pay. Never mind. This changes things. Yes. Um, now it's a little bit more complicated. So, if we plus Gideon, Gideon goes up to 10, and then Ojitai attacks him down. I don't really want them hitting me with Dragonlord Ojitai. But I also don't want them keeping Karn in play. And if they hit him, we can still kill Ojitai. I kind of like that. So let's keep their... I guess Forest tapped now. It's the only green source there. We're going to keep Forest tapped and then we're going to attack Karn with Gideon. And let them hit with Ojitai because then we can just kitty in it. Okay, let's do that. Otherwise, Karn's gonna get very annoying. Okay, kill Karn and then we pass. Tapped on Island plus Gideon. But we can just kill Ojitai anyway. We don't have to plus Gideon, right? Yeah, I think it's kind of a toss-up between giving them double blue or single green. But they're not red, so it's not like we're worried about burn on Gideon. And they only hit him for 5, so he falls to 3. So he can still minus on Ojitai if they attack him. Or if they attack my face, he can minus on him. And he doesn't kill a Johnny. They could threaten a Johnny ultimate. And I guess that's the upside of plussing Gideon. But I think that's kind of all in, because there's a lot of cards that can kill just kill a Johnny. And then they're left with Karn in play. Yeah, see, they're they're considering attacking Gideon anyway, even though we didn't even have to plus. Alright, Johnny takes five. And hopefully no Grave Titans or anything. It costs two life here. Metamorph? Two Ojitais? What? Oh, I see. Clever, clever plays. 
We can still uh, phantasmal image it though. Pilgrim's Eye getting a forest. Okay. That makes me think they have a play with the the forest. Swamp. Coalition Relic. Okay, so Gideon just has to plus here. Let's get that out of the way. That protects a Johnny, and a Johnny's gonna cut them off of I guess double green. I don't think it matters so much. They have triple or double of every color now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't nickel bull this. But we can go relic into yeah, relic and then signet into image seems fine to me. And that sets us up for nickel bullets next turn. All right, we got this. Yo, yo, looks like you white chi on super friends splashing red black again, I see. <laughs> yeah, the classic. <laughs> I think it's a completely viable archetype. So we can trade Dragon Lords if we want. I don't think that's a good idea. Also, welcome Smaug. <laughs> Our mana's not as good as it normally is. We got past all the duels for like random nonsense, but not the decks we actually or the not the blue white like we actually wanted. But also our mana requirements aren't too insane either. Dude, your Pilgrim's Eye has to attack Gideon. It's in the rules. And we're we're just going to let Gideon take five and then kill Dragon Lord. That's fine. Um, we're just going to block here. Or even Nickel Bullis can kill that or something. 3 worthy, tested, and successful. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, that took their whole turn. Now I think we do trade Dragon Lords. The full mana Temporal Mastery is a lot worse than two mana Temporal Mastery. Because it's it basically gives you an extra attack step, and that's about it. Yeah, I'd much rather have Gideon in play than this dumb Dragon Lord. Please, whatever you play, be killable by Nicol Bolas. Garrick Apex Predator. All right, Gideon's going down, I suppose. That's a good one. And then you keep Ojitai back now on defense. Fair enough. That's what their forest is for. Actually, no, their deck is... Just solidly three colors with no fixing. All right, let's put a charge counter. That's fine, just nickel bullet him next turn. Yeah. It's just, I hate losing my Gideon. He's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, so Coalition Relic adds black mana. Oh, can we keep up Mana Leak too? That prevents like some busted X spell. Let's add black. Whoa, 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 Signet, calm yourself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'm playing around Tectonic Edge here. Nickel Bolas, minus four, seven damage to Garrick. Is there another ability he has? Excel two cards. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure we kill the Garrick. I'm so used to the other Nicol Bolas whose plus would kill the Garrick. So much better. Uh, I guess I don't want them having red mana, even though it seems like a splash. In case they have like Nicol Bolas or something, I don't know. And then let's pass turn. I don't want them killing my dudes. They have one card in hand. Dragonlord Ojitai is like the best wall ever come on tap like yeah yeah no more mana what are you stream sniping tap it all no okay all right 
This looks like a cyclonic Everflowing Chalice kicked three times. Guys. He knows, but here's the thing. Yeah, we're gonna let that resolve. Because here's the thing, either he plays whatever is in his hand, or we're just gonna exile it. Sick plays opponent. And I'm not gonna put a counter on Relic in case they have some instant speed spell. I probably shouldn't have tapped mana that lets them know I have something. Okay, so... You should put XL's two cards. Yeah, let's just get their last card. So then we're just playing against the top card of their deck. Island, okay. So they didn't have anything. Then we had Johnny. Keeping... Uh, it doesn't really matter. Island tapped, I guess. Then we play a Moldrifter. Three, four, five. Oh, let's fetch with Foothills because this actually doesn't have many cards to find here. <laughs> Steam Vents or Blood Crypt. And I'm going to get it untapped just because. All right, cast Moldrifter. <laughs> All right. Um, we can attack with Dragon Lord here. That either threatens a trade, because they'd have to draw exactly a removal spell, and I'm fine chumping with Moldrifter. Um, what else? Lands just love you. Yeah, I love lands too, so it's it's mutual, you know. Um, the question is, do I attack with the Dragon Lord? So if I swing, what is the pros? I get to hit. Might as well go on the offensive. All right. I imagine they block. No, blocking's not good. They need to like draw. All right. I guess blocking's good. Let's see what they got. Feels like this happens in pretty much every video. What do you mean? Me having an Ojitai or me winning with big planeswalkers? Uh, wait, wait, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Can they evoke off of Hostage Taker? Oh, they're floating one. One, two, three. That's like a pretty good top deck, I suppose. Lands? Yeah, I don't know why I flood a lot. I do play a lot of mana sources. We can mana leak the Moldrifter. No, we can't. Man, that's like the perfect top deck there. That would have been Ojitai that they had stolen if they didn't block. Yep, that would have been worse. Yep, cast a D. I mean, they already legend ruled themselves once. So they have to know what's around. All right, let's charge up Relic. They just conceded. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. They must have just drawn all lands or something. Um, that's so weird. <laughs> uh, so they have Ojitai, which makes me like Phantasmal Image still. Because does this target? No. Interesting. Couldn't handle the pressure? I guess so. I kind of like Vizier over a Phantasmal Image. And I really like Silmgar's Command. Their deck looks dirtily. So we can just go up to be even bigger. And then we cut... Probably one of our board wipes. Let's cut Fumigate. And just keep in all the action. Alright, let's roll. Glendalendra seems like... A slam dunk against this opponent, too. Duplicate. No, I don't like it so much. I think I like just copying their dude instead. Um, mostly because Ojitai has hexproof, so you can't 
duplicate it. And this cloud skate is going to be real nice. Uh, all right, let's start with island. I like keep wanting to play around like wasteland and strip mine and all that, but I know those aren't legal in modern, which makes the format so much more boring. That's why you can play decks like this because there's no wasteland or strip mine. Tectonic Edge is super weak. Chalice kicked once, sure. Of all the two man accelerants, that's the one I would prefer they play. Oh geez, duplicate and Aminatu Commander. Aminatu, do you mean Animar? Because I definitely run duplicate in my Animar deck. All right, nothing busted. Hypnotic Spectre. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The Esper Planeswalker Blink stuff. Oh yeah, that that guy. The new one, right, from the Commander set? <laughs> You're a little late there, Reman. Let's go Sulphur Falls into Coalition Relic. Fortunately, most of their hits are like fine for us. So here's a very distinct case where Phantasmal Image was better. But if they discard it, then here's a distinct case where Vizier of Many Faces is better. It's a very weird matchup. Hope he has Big Garrick. They never saw a Mana Leak, I don't think. They just kind of played around it. All right, that's if I could choose a card to hit, that would be the one. Oi, <laughs> oi, okay, this is one way to go. Let's hit a day of judgment off the top, shall we? Of course, I got rid of Fumigate. There we go, <laughs> called it. Let's add white, boom. All right. Go. Oh, we have an extra one floating. Whatever. Uh, that's actually not whatever. Now we can't hold up remand. Uh, guys. Guys, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, never didn't have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is gonna not get remanded. It's gonna feel so bad. Okay, they can't cast it. That would have been a juicy remand target, though. Put a charge counter because it doesn't really matter. Spell sky. Dude! What is going on here? They have one card left in hand. Yeah, not not playing the not holding up Reman was rough. Just copy and get your thing back. So we need to how do we sequence this? We target hostage taker. And then they blink it to spell skite. Then we Vizier of Many Faces the Hostage Taker. And then Hostage Taker, their hostage taker. And we can still hold up Reman. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So let's make them pay life here. Yeah. So bounce you. So let's play Vizier. Always playing around days because obviously. Copy this. Hostage taker you. <laughs> there we go. And then we can play their hostage taker. That's so dirty. 
Days' legacy. It's, yeah, I always play around Days when I can because when you get hit by Days, it's so brutal. God, Hostage Taker under a Hostage Taker is so sick. Remand. Big Eric, Temporal Mastery. Let's do this. No extra turns for you. Nikki B. Ugh. So many lands. Always with the lands with us. Let's play Blood Crypt. Our opponent's not playing Sundering Titan, right? They would never play Sundering Titan. I kind of want to just play Hostage Taker and take their Chalice. Yeah. And then recast it. Cast once. This is kind of some BM here. Yeah, it makes them have a land, but like, the seven mana play doesn't even do much. It's a seven mana explore. What I really want this for is that this puts us on a two turn clock, which is the real appeal. Obnixilis. Yeah, we can kill that. Or we can ignore it. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they did not have a land. I don't think ignoring it is good because they have a time warp. And I don't want them getting a time warp with Obnixilis out. All right, so Big Garrett costs seven. You can come down and kill my Gideon. I guess that's not the end of the world. Play you, go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he hits for six. And they're missing land drops still. They scooped super early last game, so maybe they'll do it again this game. It's crazy how much we've kind of flooded, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we drew like nine. Bribery gets you... Ojitai, Glenelendra. Glad I didn't put in duplicate. Yeah, Ojitai is your best bet here. So Ojitai is on chumping duty. Uh, I guess it's not chumping. But I think I do like swinging with Gideon. Plusing doesn't do a whole lot. We swing out and if they block our hostage taker for some reason. Yeah, it's good that it isn't in. <laughs> yeah, let's just hit with Gideon. Again, if they attack Gideon with the Ojitai. Um, oh, wait, wait, here's what we'll do. What if we just swing with these two? If we swing out, what happens? They take, they block here and they take four, ten, they fall to one. Yeah, putting them to one seems worth. Yeah, forcing the block. Play Wooded Foothills. Uh, this still has one fetchable land, I believe, the Steam Vents. So we got to do that before <laughs> anything else. The only consideration for, even if they have Damnation, they die, right? One, two, three, four. So they can attack Gideon for five. Damnation still doesn't do it. Yeah. They have to attack. The, the only reason I was considering plusing Gideon is it prevents them from uh, impulsing off Ojitai to find... I don't even know what does it here. Oh wait, they have Temporal Mastery. They actually have a decent shot. Land Temporal Mastery, Ojitai hit again.
We might actually be dead. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like this. Swinging out was maybe wrong because keeping back Cloudsgate as a blocker could have stopped a lot of this. It can get me to three. This is sketchy. Just hope they don't play a three power creature. Well, I don't think they can because they need to use all seven mana at a time warp here. Yeah. All right, let's see if they found something. What does three damage in those colors? Just imagine if I like cracked a shock here and then just took 18 damage out of nowhere. They just impulsed four times. So they basically demonic tutored twice. So what are the best cards? Spell Skite is a blocker that cannot redirect the Gideon ability because it says destroy target tapped creature. There's no more time walk effects. No, unless they went like forest eternal witness time warp. Stillumgar's Command. Holy moly, all right. I have no effects there, right? Nope. That was a pretty good series of turns there. <laughs> all right, let's uh, fetch with Wooded Foothills, get the card out of our deck. We need a draw. I want Nicol Bolas to the face. Can I at least ask for that? Vendillion Click does it. Charge counter. Oh, Nickel Bolts to the face doesn't do it. Man, they even have this spell skite. That's insane. Day of Judgment. Let's go. Oh, I already played Day of Judgment. Um. Hmm. That does it. Bounce you, and you get smaller. Pretty good, uh, pretty good top deck. Nah, two LSV for you. <laughs> we we still are doing okay, I think. Just hit for two and win. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we do it. All right, round two, let's go. Whew, okay. That was a really close one though. That opponent really comboed out there at the end. Mm -mm -mm. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Caleb's number one fan. <laughs> really here to support. I really want anyone else watching, I want like a tier list of whoever can make uh, accounts in order of what number fan they are. So number one's been taken, but like Caleb's number two fan probably exists still. Do you ever wonder if there's a pro player out there who is just lucky? Like they're not even that good, they just always draw the exact card they need? That's possible for like a short period of time. And I guess theoretically it's possible forever. This is, well, this is so close, but it's gotta be a mulligan. Nope, Kale's number one to five was taken by number one. <laughs> I guess if they were the true number one fan, they would just buy like, or not buy, but have every single one. This is Jace. Uh, do we need this land? We don't actually need this land. Noise mole. Yeah, sick. Okay, so... Do I fetch here? Yeah, I guess we fetch a tapped land. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, I don't think that's sustainable on the long run, Blightning, Brightling. 
A dork? Fine. Let's fetch Stevens or Blood Crypt. Double black is not a thing we need. Double red is also not a thing we need. So it doesn't matter. All right. But yeah, I think there were some people who like spiked a random tournament. <laughs> we drew the steam vents, okay. And then didn't have good results after that. So that happens for sure. Just the odds of like, let's say your win rate is realistically 40%. You could still like 17 and 0 a whole tournament, but the odds of that happening are, I mean, you can do the math. It's 60% per round for 17 rounds. Hmm, so we can play Jace. The problem with playing Jace here is it dies to like Bloodbraid Elf or some Burn or something like that. Does this prevent man abilities? No, it does not. Let's... I want to protect Jace as much. But well, the problem with Jace plus two, it puts him to five and then he falls to three. They're in red, there's so many burn spells or hasty three damage creatures they could have. That could be the play. I'm just trying to think if it's more worthwhile to try and hit like Gideon or Johnny or Day of Judgment or something. No, I, th I think you are right. Jace plus two is better. Let's do that. Draw step, repeal, signet. Now you got me thinking, man. If we repeal signet, then they have to recast it. I don't see any need to repeal signet in the draw step, though. We're just going to repeal it now. Just get a little bit more information. Okay, so we have the plane, so we could theoretically draw Day of Judgment. Obviously, that's an example of why Hedron Archive. Oof. We got Inferno Titan over there, and a Signet. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think I can wait around. I think I have to Jace here. Fetters the Archive, <laughs> just to prevent them from drawing. Because it doesn't stop the man ability, unfortunately. Inferno probably, but I also think he has a Tarka. So if, let's see. All right, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna Jace, wait one more turn, then we can Jace plus Remand. Yeah, mana still works, so that doesn't do it. We're gonna try and Remand into a board wipe or something. Or actually, if they play Inferno Titan, I think we just let it resolve and then we Faith Spetters it. It seems better actually, and then we can remand something the next turn. Because Inferno Titan right now is six mana deal three. That's not so bad. What's scary is that they have five spells in hand. Because they've only played two lands here. Glory Bringer. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to play Jace. So I think I honestly let that resolve. And then I just face fetters it. Or maybe we draw a board wipe. Yep. Come on, board wipe. Coalition Relic. All right, so four planes. Face fetters this and then just remand whatever they have next and hopefully we draw some action 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're pretty close to Nicol Bolas even. This is getting remanded. What is this? Dude. Ugin? Oh boy. All right, let's find a Pact of Negation. I don't know how I'm dealing with an Ugin. Oh, Fumigate puts them off of Ugin for a long time, doesn't it? Wait, wait, what is Ugin? How many loyalty counters does Ugin have? I gotta look this up. Can U Nicol Bolas kill it? That's what I want to know. He has... Seven, he goes up to nine. So Nicol Bolas cannot kill Ugin. That's so sad. All right, here's what we're going to do. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can't... Coalition Relic into Fumigate. Let's just Fumigate, cut them off some mana. Um, that buys us at least two turns until Ugin comes down. And we want to like somehow get them with Nicol Bolas plus to exile Ugin from their hand. Wow. Dude, your deck's insane. <laughs> There's a Wrath of God. He knows the way. He really does. I mean, I have to Wrath of God that. Let's go Relic. Wait, 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 Wrath of God. <laughs> Two board wipes in a row. Alright, here comes Ugin. I don't know how we beat an Ugin here. Because they can minus... Answers. This is a really good game so far. So we get hit for 3, they go to 9. The biggest problem I have is that, let's say we Nicol Bolas target their Ugin. Then they just, he goes to two, and then they just plus and kill our Nicol Bolas. Just brainstorm. We don't have, the thing is in general, we don't have many outs to Ugin. So like, what are we brainstorming for? We don't have like a destroy target planeswalker spell as far as I'm aware. So what are our options? We can Nicol Bolas plus on them to try and hit something and that'll force them to minus seven Ugin. Ugin on an empty board is so insane. Oh, yes, Silmgar's Command. Okay, you're right, you're right. All right, Silmgar's Command is our out. So let's Mind Stone into Jace here. Yeah, yeah, Silmgar's Command is how we do it. So let's Brainstorm. Oh, no. Put you and you back. Play the land. I guess we got a pop mind stone. They're gonna Ugin plus on Jace though. I don't know if we're gonna get this one, guys. We probably did. We maybe can hit something insane with Nicol Bolas like Terastodon. <laughs> Devil's play Jace. That seems odd. Why don't you Devil's play? Whoa! Dude, your deck's insane! <laughs> oh! Wait, wait, wait. If we had plussed, we maybe could have hit Eternal Witness here. Oh man, that would have been nice. Eternal Witness, give back Faith Fetters. Okay, so we are basically dead. We put two cards back, so we know what we're drawing. 
charge counter. Black. I think we gotta go for the Hail Mary Nickel Bolas Plus. I think that's the only way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, play Glacial Fortress. We gotta hit like Terastodon or Woodful Primus. All right, that's game. <laughs> On to game two. Uh, okay, Silmgar's command is not main board, so that's good to know. Mm, how else do we beat an Ugin? I don't know how we beat an Ugin here. I kind of want to bring in also Day of Judgment. And just cut Mortify. Because we're going to be just wiping the board over and over. Which makes me not really want Phantasmal Image. I feel like Vizier is better. And then... Cloudscape, Gideon. Man, this Nickel Bolas is so much worse than other Nickel Bolas. Yeah, I have counter spells and click, which can do it, and remand. Oh, Pact of Negation. But, oh, Glenelendra? Yeah, yeah, we're okay. What card do I cut? Maybe Ojitai with this many board wipes is just not good. All right, let's go first. Better hand. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. It's really close. Uh, I think this is a mole. Oh yeah, this is way better. Okay, really happy with that mole. This game's been pretty good so far. I was about to say. <laughs> I was thinking about it. You never know. They kept seven. That's cheating. Okay, click is a pretty nice keep there. All right, we, we have a lot of disruption set up now. And we don't want to fetch turn one because we actually want to draw that click. So let's just play Drawn Catacomb. Dude, always the, the turn one plays with these opponents. Okay, so... I don't really want to have to fetch and take damage. Let's just play Reflecting Pool. And I think I just spew off Remand on whenever they play. Not that. Okay, I'll remand that. Just just a little bit. Actually. No, that one's fine. We're gonna remand whatever they play. None of this does anything. Let's play Arid Mesa. Yeah, counter the fatty. I wanna So now we're gonna hold up remand. We can counter it and then whatever they play, we can Vendillion click it. And if they're attacking, we just take two, that's fine as well. Silumgar's command can hit Raging Ravine, but it's gonna be really hard to do so. All right, so no plays, let's fetch. And let's grab Steam Vents for more blue. Yeah, we got Vendillion Click plus Remand. Sulfur Falls is great. Okay. Getting up there. We can take a few hits here still. If they activate Raging Ravine here, we're going to Silumgar's Command, kill the Ravine, bounce a land. <laughs> All right. Silumgar's Command, bounce a land, kill this. Wait, I don't have the mana. What am I doing? All right, now I feel silly. <laughs> yep. 
Yep, becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Back in Theros Standard, my opening hand was a Mountain and Nykthos, three Burning Trees and two Boros Reckoners. That was a pretty risky keep, but I got the second Mountain right on time. Felt so good when I did. <laughs> but then it feels so bad when you don't get it. Uh, yeah, we take it. Let's click their hand. Just to get the man out of the way. Ugin and an Eternal Witness. Well, we take Ugin. Leave you with Eternal Witness. So now we know we're pretty safe to tap out. And I kind of want to just Riftwing Cloudskate the Raging Ravine. My best tournament, by the way, top forward in IQ. Well, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, they just have Eternal Witness and one unknown. Get out of here, Raging Ravine. Hit for three in the air. Take the race to them. So when you say top four, does that mean fourth place? Because top four could also mean first place. I haven't touched construction in a while though. That was back in like 2013. That was the deck you were playing in that tournament? That was a fun deck. I remember watching that on, you know, streams from time to time. So now we can Silimgar's Command the Raging Ravine if they go that route. Third or fourth place depending on your win losses. Okay. Yeah, that's a really good record. I think at fourth. We'll say it was third. Lotus Cobra. And then they have Eternal Witness, and we saw at least two lands. Yeah, they have one unknown. I think we can race here. We hit for five, they're hitting us for four. Yeah, let's race. Because we, we have Nickel Bullets to the face next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we hit a land. Which seems gas. Actually, yeah, that is... Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that. So they get mana. Probably use that to activate Raging Ravine. We kill Raging Ravine, bounce Lotus Cobra. Oh. Never mind, we remanded this. Unless it's a bane fire. What is this? Nissa Steward of Elements. Yeah, none of that. And we're remanding because we want to hit the land really badly. Oh, mana leak's good. Okay, land is lethal. Let's do it. Hit for five. He does seven to the face. Yeah. The old nickel bolus combo finish here. Oh, missing black mana? God. Black, blue, red. Got them all. Game three, let go. Deal seven damage to target opponent. Okay, game three. These games have all been really good. You can also control Z. Oh, okay, that undoes all of them. Because the right click on my mouse is a little weird. My mouse is super old. Do we learn any more information? Our board wipes are good. They have planeswalkers. I kind of want to bring in Sorin. No, he's not good against Ugin. It untaps one at a time. But yeah, we could just spam control Z. I think. I kind of want Dragonlord Ojitai against them again. Just have flyers. And we can cut Vizier of Many Faces. Yeah. Vizier can copy 
No, let's keep Vizier. It has a buyback, which is nice. Learning all the shortcuts. Thanks, Brightling. Lightning Brightling. Okay. That's like too much. That's like a tongue twister. This hand is perfect. Just needs one board wipe, which we have three of. No one drop. It's the same. All right, I'm tilted. I'd be fine if they had more than one one drop that they played from time to time, but it's been land orals every game. Okay, Silver's command. And Mana Dorks are really good against Planeswalkers. In this deck when I don't have blockers. Don't be busted. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's got to be the morph that basically is an Eternal Witness. All right, we're not going to remand here. Let's play Signet. Then Protector, yeah. Let's have outs for a Jace. Next turn, I want to play Relic and then hold up Remand. Oh, Rattleclaw Mystic. That makes more sense. Yeah, I was thinking, I see that card a lot, but I don't think I've seen Den Protector in this format. Thunderbreak Regent. Okay, if Judgment or Bust, really. Uh, we also need a white source is the problem. Well, it's only four, five, six, seven. No, no, we're still okay. We can go Coalition Relic. Bloodstained Meyer grabs Godless Shrine and that's it. Oh, Godless Shrine is our white source. Yeah, okay. Nice turn three. Yeah, casual all these. Let's go. It's really likely that we're going to remand something. Also gets vents. You're right. I think I'm just going to play island. Keep our life total up. I, I just, it's so likely they play a spell here that we have to remand. What really, really sucks is playing remand. Like, let's say they play a creature. We may have to remand it just so we can dig for answers. And then they have the creature post board wipe. Yeah, about that. Come on. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. We can go with that. I felt like that was a he has nothing swing. Yeah. So let's just play Vizier copying target of a spell. Does this target? No. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Let's play Vizier. This card's so good. Copy you. Pass turn. Wow, they're one mana off of Ugin? Jeez. Blood Braid Elf with Cascade? Dude! In a Jade Light Ranger? Okay. Uh. I like the original variant more. Yeah, I mean, Jade Light Ranger resolves, I guess. Well, does it? I guess I'm okay with them slamming that post board wipe. The thing is, I really want to run out remand. Particular to Vesuvian Doppelganger. Ooh, I like that one too. So they're going to swing, we're going to trade here, we're going to take a lot of damage. I cannot remand a Blood Braid Elf. Okay, let's remand Bl Jade Light Ranger. Increases the chances that we draw into a board wipe. And then we can uh, Vizier of Many Faces there, J Light Ranger. Of course. <laughs> Alright, so now we're max preventing.
Oh, they could actually cast their creature now. Oh, that'd be so good. Yeah, they're gonna cast it post combat. Okay, I think we turn the turn the corner here. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we can Day of Judgment plus Jace. Yeah, I think we do. Nissa Steward of Elements cannot come down big enough. And we can just Silumgar's command that. They only have four mana. This yeah, this is this is a slaughtering now. Poor OP. I think one of these lands is dead. <laughs> so let's get double white. And one, two, three. Four. Let's make sure we can fetch first. So let's control Z. Okay, that's way faster. Yeah, let's make sure we have a fetchable land here. I think Steam Benz is in here. Yeah. P2 life, yes. So let's board wipe first. One, two, three, four. Day of Judgment. Chase. And we're just going to brainstorm. Ooh, Fumigate on top? Doesn't really matter. I think you have 8 mana. White. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Best of luck opponent. Incinerate my Jace. And then we have Tamyo. Ooh, yeah. Let's keep that... <laughs> and Riftwing. <laughs> oh, this is going to get so dirty so fast. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, let's play Tamyo. Keep your blue source tapped so you cannot play Nissa. Then we're gonna Riftwing Cloudskate a land, and then we're gonna Vizier of Many Faces our Riftwing Cloudskate bouncing a land. And uh, that should be all she wrote. This is Pilgrim. Play another creature, I'll Fumigate. Yeah. Being a green aggro deck against the deck with four, three board wipes is not a good time. Yep. At blue. <laughs> Just conceded. <laughs> Nothing dirty about that. <laughs> oh, we could have also Silumgar's commanded a land. Yeah, they know. All right, we are in the finals. Let's do this. Thank you all of you who have watched this whole thing so far. Uh, stayed in the chat the whole time and welcome to anyone who's watching for the first time this deck is pretty nice do we want hang on I feel like I've wanted to bring in Silmgar's command almost every time what have I been cutting for it I feel like it's just better than mortify boom done I'm gonna now I'm gonna draw Silmgar's command and they're gonna have some dumb enchantment. I'm not gonna be able to beat it. What do you guys think about running Vizier main deck? So if you have the time to talk about it, what's your thesis on again? Didn't get to hear your last stream. You can still bounce the enchantment, that's true. Yeah, so my thesis is uh using artificial intelligence to design optical systems, which basically falls falls under the more general category of kind of data space investigation. Um, so basically in any design problem, you have a high dimensional space of variables. And in the design problem, you're trying to find regions of the design space that are important. So in the case of optical system design, if you're trying to make like a telescope or glasses, there's like a lot of things you can design. Um, you only really care about regions of that design space that produce something meaningful. And so my goal in the research is finding regions of this space that are meaningful through use of artificial intelligence. Because um, one way you could do it is like storing all of these systems and try and brute force it. And that's not very elegant. So we're looking for more like elegant, finessed based ways to explore data spaces. And then use that information to do useful things. 
Uh, Reman, Wrath of God, Nicol Bolas. Seems like the hand. Does that answer your question? If you have any other questions, I can't answer too much. Um, because we're, ooh, a green deck. I like this. <laughs> um, I'm trying to, wait. I think we drew all of our fetches. We need to use these now. Yeah, we need to use these now. Um, I'm trying to, I have a company interested in what I'm doing. They make lens system design software. So I can't speak too openly about any specifics of what I'm doing, unfortunately. But yeah, just think, basically it's like artificial intelligence and a lot of math. Um, okay, they have a new Ulamog. So we can get, I don't have any other fetches with Bloodstained Mire, right? All right, please let's not draw, let's get Steven's tapped. And Aaron Mesa can get some planes. <clears throat> so we actually do need to hit a white. Okay. So we can go Bloodstained Mire. I want to fetch now before I draw the land and then just don't have it. Free combat. But yeah, sorry, Blightning Bright. I really can't. I'm just going to call you Brightling, if that's cool with you. <laughs> Does that answer your questions? You can ask anything else you want. Um, it's hard to know like what's technical gobbledygook or whatnot. Most interesting there was the telescope you mentioned. As an aspiring astronomer, I welcome innovations to that area of technology. Yeah, <laughs> there are some great innovations happening. I think the giant Magellan telescope right now is, uh, I think it's 13 hexagonal sections that are eight by eight, eight meters wide, making the whole thing like 30 meters in diameter. They're building it and putting it in Chile. And 30 meters wide is enormous. If you could, so I've seen the mirrors in person. They're eight meter mirrors is incredible. Oh my God, this opponent's a genius. Okay. I'm super stoked. Yeah, the James Webb Space Telescope too. Yeah, I know less about the ones that they're actually putting in space. Um, just because where I work in the university I'm at makes the ones for uh, not space. Yeah, good thing we have a board wipe. So we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Kitchen Finks is still going to be a problem, though. It is still scary. And we have Treetop Village. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Taking a lot. We need like board wipe and then draw into fumigate. Compared to no board wipe, well then we would just be dead. Please be just a creature. Yeah, that dies. Good. More creatures. Okay. Honestly though, we board wipe and then we fall the two off of treetop plus kitchen finks. <laughs> Quicken needs to be in every cube. We fold it two. Well, we'll do it. I don't know. I don't know about this one, guys. We need some instant speed interaction to deal with this treetop village. You know what does do it, though? That Silumgar's command we brought in from the sideboard. Kill the tree, or er, bounce the treetop, kill kitchen things. Silmgars. Planes. He curved out real nice. It has trample. We don't have any instant speeds. Let's make them see it, I guess. I, I at least want to make them do it, you know? We could have like condemn or something, you never know. I conspicuously kept up a white source instead of a blue. Oh. Okay. Yeah, not holding up blue was just for the super bluffs. When you're in like really dire situations, it's probably better to do something confusing to the opponent because it's the same response you had, right? It's like <laughs> bluffing Manitoba doesn't do it, but like Swords of Plowshares, Path to Exile, 
we would have just played on our turn. So the only card that makes sense there is Condemn. I think that's a higher likelihood of them not attacking than anything. Uh, we need instant speed kills. Or maybe, maybe Soren Lord of Innistrad is actually good in the creature mirror. We definitely want Day of Judgment. That single white prevent and redirect two damage from Corset Cube. Oh yeah, that one's really nice. Uh, I don't think I like Phantasmal Image with this many board wipes. Let's cut Dragonlord and just bring in Soren. That can deal with the tree thing. Kind of. And then they have Ugin or Ulamog. Do I even want Duplicate? If they cast Ulamog, we're just dead. Yeah, that's... If they get up to 10 mana, we lose the game anyway. Play first. Uh, yeah, sounds good. What was my bachelor's degree in? Engineering Physics, which is basically a fake degree. Um, what I did is I took mechanical engineering courses for the first half, and then they just threw in, like, weird... I don't even know, like, physics slash material science courses at the end. Don't major in engineering physics. Major in engineering or physics, but not both. <laughs> That's my advice. So this is going to get steam vents. Dude, always with the turn one plays. Because we don't need black yet. And blue, double blue turns on Vendillion click. Sounds like a little like my meteorology degree. Ooh, how is a meteorology degree? I'm going to suspend Cloudskate versus Mana Leaking here. Um, it's going to just be useful later on. Base Engineering, then it just went science -y Physics for the next two years. Yeah, I imagine, is there a lot of like complex modeling in meteorology? Or not really? Because it's like, I mean, the weather's so complicated, we basically just don't no, <laughs> not really for undergrad. Yeah, that makes sense. It's more like observing trends and things, I imagine. Um, I don't really want to draw stuff Vendillion click. But I kind of do too, because that protects a Johnny. But if they just have two big threats, then they have two big threats, then what do we do? Oh, one, two, three. This puts us at five mana the following turn. All right, we'll draw step click. The old fashioned. Or wait, wait, wait. What if? Yeah, this seems better. Let's mind stone, hold up mana leak now. Then next turn, draw step Vendillion click. Um, and that way we can play Johnny Vengeance the turn Riftwing Cloudscape comes out. Uh, we're not draw stuff Vendillion clicking anymore. Come on, blue source. Blue. Oh, Tamios. Let's just do that. <laughs> if they didn't have a play last turn, they won't have one this turn. Oh, collected company, collected company. Guys, guys, I figured it out. Just go. Pass turn. I'm countering that. I'm on it today. No one's going to collect a company around me. Synoptic meteorology is so complex, we looked mainly at specific parcels of air, up to multi-cell thunderstorms. That sounds pretty fun, actually. I know very little about how weather works, unfortunately. <laughs> but I would like to know. I think most people would like to know, though in that they don't oh no what is this whatever it is we can bounce nissa vital force okay we can bounce her we take five but that's not so bad she only returns permanence okay we are doing okay take six and i want to keep mindstone around Get 
test you. Kind of makes me want to go back and get a master's, but student loans. Yeah, I would particularly look for master's degrees that pay. Um, it's much easier with like the PhD. So I'm in a PhD program and a lot of like the specifically like technical PhD programs like engineering, you can get funded to do it. But yeah, taking out loans to get a master's or PhD seems very difficult to accomplish. Um, so we bounce Nissa, and then we Vendillion click it away. And I kind of want to keep this back to block the one ones. Oh, thank goodness we have an attacker here. Let's play this and then Vendillion click. Yeah, then we draw step click. And we're going to hold up planes just to freak him out. No real rhyme or reason to it. Click U. So if we get the option, we're going to trade with Treetop Village here. Okay, what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Ah, the old Mur Battle Sphere. Uh, maybe. Hello, hello. Welcome, Washed Up Scout. You're in just in time for the dramatic conclusion. This is the finals of this draft. Uh, the VOD will be put up on YouTube later on, so you can catch the what you missed before. Oh, Battle Ball Man. Yeah, I think we got to take that. And then they can play Nissa. Wait, I got to think this through. So they play Nissa. She makes a 5-5. Five, five. We take some damage here. But then we can kill her with these attacks plus a Johnny. And then we lose a Johnny. Oh, this is going to be a slog fest. Slog fest indeed. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. Just one turn too soon. We could have kept him out of mana for a long time. Mm hmm Okay, at least we know what's in their hand, except for the battle ball and the forest. Kill the land? No, because we gotta kill the Nyssa. Ugh. Now I regret, I should have just taken Ugh, it's okay, it's okay. We can fumigate it later. So let's swing at Nyssa for sure with these. So Nyssa Vital Force is down. Well, hindsight and stuff, yeah. <laughs> um... We don't necessarily have have to a Johnny the Nissa here. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. Two, three, four, five, or four. Play Johnny. Kill you. So we're up to ten life, which is kind of a lot. We have the mana for Fumigate. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I do pop the Mind Stone. So they hit Johnny for one that kills him. Oh, the dream is them playing Jade Light into Obstinate. Eternal Witness is not the dream. Oh, okay. That card is problematic. They could just replay it? Oh, no. All right. Yep. Let them commit more to the board. Well, <laughs> their committing is doing pretty well so far. Johnny down. Or maybe they attack me. Okay. That might have been a mistake, actually. 
So let's pop mine stone, because almost everything important we have costs five. Okay. Okay, so we have Fumigate. Uh, and they have five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do I win this? The land does not have trample. What if Nissa to one pass? I think we just die. We just die from that because they treetop village. What I think I want to do here is Tamio minus two. Hit Nissa with just the Vendillion click. And then keep back Cloud Skate to probably chump the 5-5. Five five because we're going to... Then the following turn... Uh, no, we don't chump the 5-5. Five five. We block a 1-1. One one. And then the following turn, we can hit Nissa for 5 and kill her. I think that's best. I mean, we need to play Tamio here, I think. The problem is we need this Tamio to deal with the treetop village. Can you handle one more turn? Yeah, let's think about this again. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We cannot handle one more turn. Yeah, I think Tamio minus seems like the best option here. That draws three cards. Uh, repeal only hits non-lands. Come on. So we need to play Blood Crypt Tap so that we can top deck Nickel Bolas here. Yeah, repeal only hits non-lands. This is really hard. So now the question is, how many creatures do we attack with? We have to attack with more than one, or with at least one. I think it's just one, and then we just block here. No, because then she goes to seven. Yeah, that would be insane if it hit lands. Let's see. We take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we die exactly. Unless we chump, but then Nissa doesn't die. I think here's the plan. Or if it just said creature. Yeah. Well, it, it's nice that it doesn't, so you can like repeal Moxin or like Signets and stuff. Let's see, here's the plan. We attack her for three, she goes to four. Okay, let's do that. And then we're gonna pass turn, and we need them to attack incorrectly here. Maybe like play a creature instead of activating Treetop Village, or swing some amount of damage towards Tamio. That way we can keep Riftwing Cloudskate around to kill the Nissa. I think that's our only out. But I don't think our opponent's planning on playing a creature here. Me, 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 me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we fold a three. It's the forced chump. Still been carried. Okay, that's more life off of Fumigate. So, what do we have now? Tamio minus two seems like a pretty good option. Mm. What about, let's see, Tamio plus on Treetop Village? Then they kill Tamiya with their forest. Ah, I don't know what to do. Okay, um, let's think. Tamiya minus we draw four. What are we drawing into? Because we need to deal with Treetop Village.
Um, if chat has any help, that'd be real nice. <laughs> Drawing four cards kills Tamiyo. I think we need to play for them to misplay. They have Jade Light Range and Obstinate Bailoff in hand. We know that. You got nothing? Yeah, it's okay. That's why I'm here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have Repeal for one. That doesn't do a whole lot. We plus Tamiyo. Okay. Okay. This saves us the most damage, I think. Stopping this. Hitting her just for four. And then playing Fumigate. Four, five. Play Fumigate. We gain a decent amount of life. This does not look good. You are correct in that. But now they have the choice. They can either kill Tamiyo or hit me for five. The problem is she just goes up so fast. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they do kill Tamiyo. Yeah, this is only non-land, just double checking. Oh. Corsair and the Overgrown Battlement. Okay, so we got they got a bunch of nonsense. Perfect. Okay. Face fetters on Nissa. I almost have to face fetters the treetop village. <laughs> uh, I think we can just fetters the Nissa though. These fetters Nissa here. And then let's probably draw step, repeal the courser if there's a land on top. Yeah. Let's repeal this courser now. Okay, I mean, we just got to draw. We don't have to draw that much. Unfortunately, we cannot hit Tamiyo for Treetop Village. Oh, right. <laughs> that doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> and then they Jade Light. Oh, and they get these lands off Jade Light Ranger too. Cool beans. Land and then Pilgrims on top. Overrun. Okay, well, we got two more board wipes. Act of negation. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we already played Fumigate, so we can draw into our last two board wipes. Okay. Three, four, five. We still have double white. So let's cast Moldrifter. And then I guess we Wrath of God. And then we die to Treetop Village, huh? It's a really slow death, though. I think we actually have to Pact of Negation this Obstinate Bailoff, too. Yep. Oh, and they can hit and play the Bailoff? I don't like that. This game has been really good, though. Yeah, I cannot let that resolve. We need more time. A five, three, four, five. <laughs> uh, we don't actually have any fetchable lands left with Drowned Catacomb either. Huh, I really said this was going to be a fast stream, but these games just get too epic. Uh, yeah, Treetop Village. Right now we have three turns. I don't... Uh, Silmgar's Command, I guess. And then some blockers too can do it, like Dragon Lord Ojitai, which I think I cited out. Battlement. Come on. Non land. Gideon. Gideon does it. Well, kind of. Two, three, four, five. 
Okay, Gideon's good. No attacking me. Play land. Go. Oh, we gotta play fast. I think we still have to win another game after this one. What costs this much mana? You have to remember they have Ulamog in their deck too. <laughs> as depressing as that is to remember. I think this is game three? Okay, it might be. Man, if they have Ulamog, I think we did. Um... Hmm... What if we attack with Gideon? I kind of like attacking with Gideon. Attack you. Because this dance doesn't get us anywhere. This way, next turn, we can top deck Nicol Bolas 7 them. Oh, okay, they hit their 10th land. Never mind. That's game. <sighs> yep. Alright, I don't know what we can draw here. <laughs> good old story, boy. Alright, good games, opponent. What a depressing conclusion. Yeah. I mean, Ulamog, that's the reason you put it in your deck. I want to know, was that game 3? No, that was game 2. Yeah, their deck... Their deck, their draws, just all around were better for us. It truly was a good game, though. I agree. All right, here's the deck. I guess bringing in Duplicant. You know what's funny? Great games, though, bro. Thanks, Smoke. You know what's funny is I was very much considering uh, Duplicant instead of Soren in my sideboarding. Can you imagine if we top deck Duplicant there? We get a 10-10. We were one, like, one click away from doing that. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, that's going to do it for the stream today. Thank you all for those who tuned in. And I'm trying to do, I guess you have to stream seven times in a month to get, like, Twitch affiliate or whatever. So I'm going to try and do these kind of regular, like, just one or two draft streams. Um, and I'll try and be more open about when they're happening. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to end the stream here. And catch you guys next time.